promotional consideration paid for by the following. Catfish Johnny's Restaurant, serving the Lake Penasofki and surrounding areas since 1990. For the last 33 years, we have strived to serve great food at great prices and a friendly casual atmosphere. If seafood isn't your thing, our burgers or wings are the best around. We have daily specials too. Check us out on Facebook or Instagram for more information. Duto Realty is a homegrown business with an eye for getting the job done right. From football games to Sunday school and everything in between, these ladies care about our community and the people in it. Helping buyers and sellers in all of Florida with all types of transactions, including residential, commercial, farm, or vacant land. They do it all. They even offer auction services and sellouts to always get the job done right. Welcome back to another edition of the Go Blaze Show. I'm Billy Goble, your host, and today we are joined in the South Center Raider weight room on location. And today we have a special guest, um, none other than the head coach of the South Center Raiders. This is uh, Mr. Ty Lawrence. Ty, welcome to the show, buddy. Thanks for having me. I mean, we used to remember we used to pull up the bay doors yep, for air conditioning. Yep, that was air conditioning. Four bay doors. Yeah, <laughs> and if it was too cold, we leave them down. You, leave, you better leave them down. Coach Sherman bought Coach Coburn a heater one year. <laughs> that heater, Billy, was about <laughs> space this. It was a space yeah, heater. Yeah, space heater. And <laughs> Coach Sherman had the county hanging up in the corner like it was going to do anything at all you know because the, the, the heat rises it's not even coming down. and if it started raining yeah you had to bring those doors down yeah. so rain wouldn't come, it wouldn't you come know? inside you now we got air conditioning oh yeah you know and the, the weight room is twice the size oh yeah we've got equipment from sornex i mean it's top of the, i yeah. mean it's you can't find many high school weight rooms no. like this no. i mean and and for those guys that help build this. Yeah. I mean, guys, if we were going zero and ten, and one and nine, two yeah. and eight, well, that's we happen. wouldn't have all this Absolutely. stuff. And those guys sweated and yeah. worked, and that's why we were good. Yeah, and and we have this now, and those kids get. I want them guys back here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that yeah. that that means more to me than a, a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? I hope our kids when we, when we go to different schools, like, I mean, um, like when we go to North Marion. The North Marion, their their weight room is super old. It's yeah. Like, but I, the ceiling's like six foot high. Yeah, it's not very big. Yeah. And there's not much room. And so it's like, or we're like, when we went to Springstead, yeah. and it was like, that it was older, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, I know that's, you know, we had older stuff too. So I know how it is. But what I'm saying is, I hope our kids take a mental picture and go, look, we got it pretty good. Like, we got it really good. Yeah, I mean, and then each year we try to do something a little right. bit more for our program. Absolutely, we want to. Yeah, we we consider our program one of the best in Central Florida. Oh yeah, and we want to keep it that way. Yeah, and as far as facilities, as far as the program itself, I mean, it's Absolutely. everything across the board. We want to be, we want be, we want to be the standard, right? You know, and. Um, so most definitely old guys coming back. You know, it's like Nick Martinez is going to be a uh, season sponsor for us. Yeah. You know, <laughs> broke. I mean, I about started crying when he called me to want to do it. You yeah. know, I yeah. was like, Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. 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 You know, and um, so, uh, yeah, always one of those old guys. You know, yeah. one of the best practices we have is Thanksgiving morning. Yeah. We'll have 150, 200 people at our practice. Yeah. And it's all old guys yeah. coming back. They or, used to play. Or their here. dads or. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And that's special. So that, you see like a third generation almost like, yes. you know, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it, it makes a, and, and, and it shows that people do care. They want to be there, you know, like, like you said earlier. They could be doing anything else they wanted to. And they chose us. They chose us. Yes. Right. Right. So I get that. I mean, it's it's a big deal. Um, so, you know, we, we you were mentioning the facilities. You know, we got this nice new field coming. Mm-hmm. And um, how much have you heard about that? Like, everybody's excited about that. And, <laughs> you know. 
when it gets it here. Better be. Yeah. And, you know, oh no, yeah. I am. I am. You know, it's you. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It should be finished this week, and we can actually walk out there and yeah. kind of look at it and stuff. Yeah. Right now, all the gates are locked. Right. And you kind of sneak. You can sneak in. Yeah. But every time you take a picture of it and you put it on social media, it's like they go back make sure all the gates are locked again. So like, how they how these guys getting in? You know, it's like, yeah. but um, it's beautiful. We're very fortunate. And, um, you know, we don't have to mow. No. <laughs> don't spray weeds. Keith doesn't have to do the field anymore. Don't have to, we don't spend $100 to paint every time, you know. Um, it's all done. Yeah. You can just walk out and start playing. Yeah. You know, and so um, excited. It, excited. Looks, it looks great from it's, the pictures. I've not done it yet. You know, there's other schools that have it, you know, at the, Ours is beautiful. But there's yeah. a lot of things that, a lot of different touches that went into it. Yeah. Um, you know, with the help of Mr. Shirley and mm-hmm. Mr. Epperson and um, just tweaking it here right. and there. And it's beautiful. But, you know, I was telling someone the other day, I was like, you know, besides the green team, there's not many turf fields around me. Yeah. Oh, you have to go, like, to Orlando. Right. Or, That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but, but in, like, in the, the tri county or yeah. even from there's I can't think of any in I'm citrus or in Pasco, Pasco's grass yeah it's yeah. all you know so that's yeah. why I was telling somebody it's like yeah you gotta, I don't mind grass yeah I, I don't either except for having to take care the of maintenance it. yeah you know and it's um and I'm having to pay to paint them yeah all that I mean, yeah but this is beautiful, man. Yeah. It is apps. I cannot wait for our fans to see it. It is a beautiful. Oh yeah. I get to drive by it sometimes. I'm like, man, I want to go out there so bad. But you know, I just want but then again, I want it to be done. I, I was talking to Mr. Shirley the other day. We were walking. It's been Mr. Shirley. And um I go, you know what, Mr. Shirley, you know, since COVID. We kind of got, you know, we used to, our fans used to come on the field after the game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And since COVID, like, we really haven't done that. Yeah. You know, at the new stadium, there's only that one gate down here at the end to get on. You know, it's like, I want the fans out here on this. Yeah. Like, let's get the fans. Oh, yeah. Let's get the fans back out here. Yeah. I don't know if they're, I don't, I don't know if they're going to allow that. Well, you know, yeah. but at least you gave them the, the yeah. idea of that. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what you love. You, I love, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's college, pro, or high school. I love seeing at the end of the game, you have kids running around throwing a football. I love it. I, yeah, absolutely. I try, actually, this is a funny thing. I actually, where the long jump pits are behind uh-huh. the field post, I try to get them to build like a, a little football field. A little football field. Because <laughs> you know. I've seen that. It's awesome. The best football game on Friday night is over there in the daggum <laughs> dirt. Okay. And all those kids are dirty from head to toe. Oh, yeah. That is the best football game. Like, I want to go over there and watch them play. You know, <laughs> the, the game on the field is the second best game yeah. at the field. You yeah. know, so I'm thinking, we can get it, those little kids under the lights with their little field down here. That'd be really cool. Yeah. And I, no, that's first. That's first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, stands like, oh, we gotta have long, long jump. We can put the long jump pits. Yeah, we can over here. To no, yeah. No. I dude, I, oh. I love because that was me. That was me yeah. as yeah. a little kid. Yeah. I, I I just wanted to be around the program. Right. And again, Leesburg was not very good, but yeah. I just ate it up. You yeah. know? And so when I see kids, five, six, seven, eight, year, nine, and up, you know. Right. I want them on our field. Oh, yeah. I want them around our program. Definitely. You know, and um, so it's because it's because I remember that age yeah. around the football. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's very important to have that, uh, like, you know, because, you know, we've got our wolf pack, and yeah. I believe the first. Is it the first game that we have the home game? Yeah, not the classic, one. but the one. The one week one, it will be our pop Warner. Pop Warner night, yeah. yeah. And they're excited. Let me tell you, they're excited about. That. I hope so. Oh, they are. Seriously. Yeah, and they're gonna get to play on it this year. Yeah. You know, because it's always been a battle of you know, can, should Pop Warner play on it? Tears up the field. Yep. Uh, we, I told um, Davenport the other day, I was like, I would have every Pop Warner game at home. Yeah. I would pay other teams to come play at yeah. our field. Because you can make money, oh, yeah. you know, with the concessions and yeah. all that type of stuff. And um, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. You know, um, 
our, and, and like I said before, our kids and not just high school kids, but like Wolfpack, they're going to be playing on this field. Yeah. And then like last year we went to Dixie County and yeah. it's like the Roman, the ancient Roman ruins over there. It's like, yeah. AJ's out, AJ Bryan is out there on the field going, man, this is, a, I, I, I caught an interception right here. <laughs> it's just like yeah. you have these flashbacks. Yeah, great, we had some great games, Dixie County. Kind of, yeah, the kind of cold, like cold games. Yeah, cold games. Kind of like how when we went to um, Palaka and you said I blew my knee out right here. Well, yeah, I didn't say that. I said that's what, that's the hardest I've ever been hit. Oh, was it? I was a tenth grader and um, Palaka back in the day was good. I ain't kidding. They were good. That's awesome. And they, I was a little tenth grader and they knocked me out. And um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't come off the field. Coach had to call a timeout. But come grab me, get yeah. on the field. But uh, yeah, I can tell you where it happened. Like, yeah, that was funny. What a great stadium that is. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I love Flacco. And it's an older one too. But old stadium. But, but it's 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 really cool. Yeah, great yeah. great turf. Yeah. Not not much of a press box on the other side. Yeah, it's I've never of, been up there. Oh, it's 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 sketchy. Yeah. I remember we went all all of us went up there to film and and um, and Gauntlet and, and Coburn went up there. And you know they have like four kids up there right down with plays. Right. So we took them all there. Um, we met uh, structurally speaking, we might not want to all go <laughs> up here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, I mean, like I said, like the 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 facilities, the stadium and stuff, it makes it. You know, I hope these. Yeah, I know these guys are going to appreciate it, but just remember all the hard work. They will. Yeah, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, we'll remind them. <laughs> You'll remind them every time, yeah. Um, you know, I, I want to let me let me touch base with you on this real quick because a lot of people don't know this, but you know, when we when we every, we have a game every Friday, and Thursday we have pregame. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to tell people about the the end zone. Um, is it still going to be God's end zone over there with the the where uh, at the end of practice? Yeah, on Thursday? at the end of practice. Yeah, Justin. Justin Davis comes and speaks to our kids, and we always do it at the far end zone. Yeah. So it's still the same. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, the end zones are black, so it might be a little hot. I was going to say, it's going to be a little That's all right. Yeah, but it'll be all right. I think, it, I think everybody will be. Tough us up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think I think you just got to get used to it. You know, you get out there. Yeah. Um, and I think the games will be fine because, you know, it's it'll get darker quick, you know, and maybe it'll cool off as a little bit faster. I don't know. Hey, we, but we're ready. Our, the kid, if, most teams we play play kids both ways. If it's hot out there, it's, oh, I, it's in our favor. I mean, <laughs> that's true. I mean, so. so let's see. Um, you know, we, we've kind of talked about your, your past and, and, and what, when you came here and let's talk about now, like, what are you excited about this year? I mean, you just got back from camp. I think they, you know, as the head football coach, I think, you know, guys like Emmon will tell you, you know, you're always trying to look at the big picture yeah. down the road, yeah. trying to stay ahead of the game, trying to stay ahead of the kid, you know. Um, even talking with Coach Kenley a few years back, we felt like this te- this team this year has the potential to go as far as any team's ever gone at South Center. Now it's the time. Now the time's here. Yeah. So were we able to keep all those kids from three or four years ago that we were thinking, okay, could play here, could play here? It just I felt like this senior class and this junior class just mixes mixes together extremely right. well. It, when, what this class doesn't have, this class has. What this class has, this one doesn't have. And just was able to to mix the two classes together. Right. And so the potential's there. Right. To to win as many games as we want to win, it's there. Yeah. Now, does our kids want to work for it? Will they go above and beyond? You know, those are the questions that they have to answer. Right. You know, are are they are they satisfied with just being good? Right. Or do they want to be great? Yeah. You know, they have to push their bodies 
to a position they haven't been. Yeah. You, got, you got to do something different. Right. You know, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, it's, it's, they call it like insanity or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and so I feel like this group, what they're missing is just going above and beyond. Right. And, you know, so we did some talking at camp about it and stuff. And I think they're ready to do it. We'll right. find out soon right. enough, you know, try to get out of, un- make their body uncomfortable. Right. And um, it's, it should be a special year. Right. Um, our schedule is challenging. Yeah. We want it that way. Right. You know, um, if we had last year's schedule, it'd be 10 and 0 again. Yeah. Just like last year. Right. But, I mean, we have some tough football games. Yeah. They are going to put our kids in positions to, are they going to keep going? Right. You know, when you talk about Mitchell, Zephyr Hills, Vanguard, North Miami Beach, um, Hawthorne. Right. Um, all these teams we play, Dun Allen. Um, there's some daggum good football teams. Oh, yeah. And it's not going to be easy. No. But things that are rewarding are never easy, and it just makes it that much special. Oh, yeah. You know? Make, the, the harder you work for it, the, the sweeter it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Abs- I, you know, it's, yeah absolutely. Um, so let me let me hold off for, from, from right there. I forgot to ask you. I was going to ask you about the time, you know, when Coach Sherman stepped down. And handed you the reins. What was that like? What was that? What was that feeling? Did you have an overwhelming feeling, like you know, my gosh, this guy's been here for thirty-four years and has this legacy, and now I've got to fill in for him? Or did you think it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new era? Let's do this. You know. Well, how did you approach that? One thing you have to realize is Emin has been here for thirty-four years. Yeah. He knows these kids in this community better than anybody. Right. He's been here longer than anybody. He knows these kids. And he did things certain ways because he knows our kids. Right. You know, and for me to come in and <laughs> throw it out the window and do a totally different thing yeah. would not have been a smart thing no. whatsoever because... I mean, Emmons over time has put a program together that because he knew how our kids were, right. you know. And so when he spe- stepped down, you know, we we talked. Me and him, Co- <laughs> Coach Cover. Basically, what happened is, that, all right, you Ty, you stand. Y'all go figure out who's going to be the next coach. That's basically what happened. Oh wow! And um, so Stan's like, I don't want it. You have it. I was like, okay. So that's basically how I have him. Wow. And, um, Pretty cut and dry. But, yeah, but Emma knew. Emma knew I want to be a head coach. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he, he knew that. You know, Stan knew that too. Yeah. And, um, you know, have we changed some things? Absolutely. We have. Um, do we still do a lot of the same things? Absolutely. Because yeah. they work. Right. Absolutely. You know, I mean. Don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. You know. Now, when my, our second season when we go 0-9, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. That was hard. Oh, I know. You know, and what I lo- here's what I love most about it. Our fans weren't happy. Yeah. I wasn't happy either. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah it, it wasn't like you were cool about it. You know? There's some place where you go 0-9 and it's no big deal. Yeah. Our fans were pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Webster Ace Hardware and Farm Supply are generous sponsors for today's podcast. They have been a family-owned business for 27 years. This helpful hardware store sells items such as archery, Ariat clothing and boots, Wrangler jeans, case knives, Hammond's candies, and live fishing. They also have a full selection of hardware, RV supply, propane, Ben Moore, Royal and Clark, and Kenningston paints. You need a barn or fencing job done? Custom barn kits and roofing metal are provided at your local Ace Hardware store. What about a new grill for the yard? Traeger, Big Green Egg, Weber, and Blackstone are found here, along with all the accessories to go with them. Stock up your workshop with DeWalt, Milwaukee, or Craftsman Tools. They got you covered. Remember to go to Ace.com to shop their entire line to have items shipped directly to the store. 
water supplied by a public municipality or a private well. For residential or commercial use, Purified Water Services LLC has the solutions to provide you with simply clean water. We offer a complete line of professional water filtration equipment and accessories. Soft water makes a difference you can see and feel. Water heater and appliances last longer with less maintenance. Iron and H2S filters eliminate iron stains and offensive rotten egg odors and protects your water softener equipment from iron fouling. No matter what your problem is, Purified Water Services LLC has a solution. Contact Kenny Williams at 352-446-2709. I mean, it is what it is. Well, you know, um, it, it kind of the same deal, but I always tell people this story. Um, you know, when they say, like, like that season, we that was a bad season. Well, well, you know, the Cowboys went 1-15 one year, and they were playing the Redskins. And Jerry Jones was up in the box, and they said – yeah, one in fifteen, man. That's, that was a bad year. And he goes, he goes. You think that's bad? He goes, that, that's not bad. And he goes, when I was thirty-five years old, I flew into Dallas, and I tried to rent a car, and I gave her my, I gave this lady my credit card, and she did this search, and she took the, the scissors and cut my car right up in front of my face. She said, Mister Jones, you need to learn how to pay your bills. He said, that was a bad day in Dallas. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a one in fifteen days. <laughs> that right there was bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was when you when you you know when it, you know life considerably it's a game and you know you think oh that's awful but you know you got this live thing you have it in front of you yeah so yeah. when I think of Owen that Owen nine I'm like man that's that's it's tough but it ain't that tough but you but you lost move on you bounce back lost a lot of sleep baby. yeah I know I'm sure you did um but but yeah when you when you when you took over um. I hate to I hate to say this, but I, you know, like when when Coach Sherman was at near the end, like he he got a little laxed on some things. You know what I'm saying? Like he kind of it wasn't his style. I was like, yeah, he's about ready to go. You know what I mean? Like I, I felt that way. That was just probably my own personal opinion, but yeah, like some things happen, and and you know, normally he would. I'm not saying he didn't care, but it was just like it was kind of like it was that's you know like it's it was it wasn't that big a deal. You know what I'm saying? That normally it was something that you would want to, you know, fix or whatever. And it's like, you kind of look at it and go, well, you know, it, it was just weird how it happened. Like you, you got that vibe, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember anything like that. But well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, uh, they, but when you took over, I just, you know, that was, like you said, we had the, the one good year that we were yeah. so close I, I, I've told a few people this, and I truly believe, okay? Emin retired a year early on purpose. Yeah. Because he didn't want our first year to be the 0 and 9. Over. Year. Yeah. No, I get that. I, I truly believe that. Yeah. I mean, because um, I think Emin could have gone another year. Yeah. I think he would have. Yeah, I mean we had every, we had everything in order. That, well, that's that's what I mean yeah. by yeah. That's what I meant by he. It was like he left earlier than what what I'm saying is he left yeah. earlier than than you know everybody. I don't think anybody knew he was going to even no. that was his last year. That's what I mean. Like yeah. he just had, I don't know. I just had that feeling, but, but very easily could have came back and yeah, uh, absolutely probably would have won state. <laughs> absolutely, well <laughs> probably we, probably won state. How, how if, far was that? If, if him and was the head coach. Oh my gosh, was. that that you Bulls know, game. You know, but tell me, tell me about that Bulls game. I because I, I wasn't there. Well, I'll tell you this: we had a meeting with the officials. Yeah. And I get to the official meeting, and one of them is my cousin-in-law. It's my wife's cousin. I'm like. Oh, we got, we got, I go back to our coach and I, Hey, we got the refs on our side for once at, at bowls. Yeah. At bowls. Okay. What? I'm related to one of these guys. Yeah. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. So anyway, um, you know, it was a time our kids just kept battling, yeah. you know, we gave up some plays early. Yeah. I can remember there was a slant earlier, a post early that Mac Jones throws for a touchdown 
and we get behind, but we go back in halftime and I can remember Boo talking to our kids at halftime. I was like, let him go. Coaches let it, Boo go. And, and I was like, we just got to keep battling. Yep. Don't look at the scoreboard. Yep. Just keep playing every play. Right. And our kids just fight and fight and fight. And so we were able to get back in it. And I, you know, I thought we won it. <laughs> yeah. And I did. I, I went every day thinking about that game for quite some time. I mean, I'm talking three years. Every day I thought about it. Yeah. Did I give the ball to the right person? Did I call the right play? Yeah. You know, it's just I replayed it in my head over and over and over. Because if I get put back in that position, right. what would I do yeah. different? How do you fix it? And there's a couple things I would do different, right. but you know, but but I still, with all of that, yeah, I still, in the bottom of my heart, believe we scored, and um, I'll, I'll 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 believe that till the rest of my life, right? That we scored on that play, and should have went and played Coco for the state championship the next week, you know, and I thought we matched up with Coco. Better than Bulls did that year, right? And, and the Coco Bulls game was a close game, yeah. And um, but I just felt like our style of play versus Coco versus Bowl style of play was a little bit different. I think it was in our favor, right? And um, man, it'd been fun to play them. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I'm, we remember we get, we got tickets to go. <laughs> they sent us tickets to the game, yeah. and. Uh, we went, and uh, I kind of felt the same way. I'm like, man, we could, we could, we could hang with these guys. Yeah. And then that's when I saw the, I saw Bowles hand off the, uh, I think they they handed the ball off to the quick guard. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, they're pulling out all the stops, guys. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, I just you know, and and ever since that Ofer season. It was, um, I mean, it's been awesome. I mean, every year we get, I mean, I haven't, we haven't had a bad year after that. No, we went, we went five and five the next year, which I thought it was very important for our kids because we, we win a lot of games because our kids think they're supposed to. Right. Not only them, the fans as well. Yeah. Our fans do. They expect it. We, our kids expect to win. Right. You know? Right. And Absolutely. We win a lot of the games because our kids think they're supposed to win. Yeah. You know? And when you start losing, that sinks in as well where you're going to lose because your kids think they're supposed to lose. Right. And you don't want that. No. That's hard to get out. Absolutely. We worked extremely hard at getting – I can remember me and Emin went up to Atlanta – um, to watch Keanu play mm-hmm. after the 09 season. And I was just like, and I got to get everybody back on board. I got to get us all on the same page, not just our football players, but our community, our town, you know? Right. I was like, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy t-shirts. I'm going to buy t-shirts for the whole town. He's like, <laughs> so I think that's a good idea, but how are we going to do it? I was like, I got to come up with a word that, doesn't let us forget this and we can move on. He's like, uh, how about uh, redemption? I was like, perfect. Yeah. And we'll capitalize R E D, you know? And yeah. so I don't know. I think I bought like 1500 yeah. redemption shirts. You know, they were white. I bought white ones, red ones, black ones. I handed them out to whoever would wear one. Yep. Because I want us back. When I say us, I want our town, right. our kids, right. our faculty. I want everybody back on the same page. Right. Let's get back to winning like right. what we do. You know? Yep. And um, I don't know if it did any good or not, but I felt like it got us focused right. on what we're about. Absolutely. I, you know, that... That goes. That speaks. That, that goes a long way. I mean, you you're trying to to get people excited about something that we've always been excited about, but yeah. kind of lost 
kind of got lost in the woods for a season or two. And um, I, I think it's I think it's it was awesome to, you know, you know, almost kind of like make a promise to people saying, look, we're we're not going to be like that. You know, we're going to be we're going to be better. We you hold us to a higher expectation, um, you know, the accountability, you know, we're going to we're going to come through for you guys. Yeah. And so and not just not just the community, but as the players and school, you know, it's everybody's got to be on the same page. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I mean, from administration yeah. to the coaches, to the yeah. players, to the town, yeah. you know, everybody has to be on the same page. Right. And, um, yeah, it's, that's why it's special here. Yeah. So special. It ain't like this everywhere. No. You know? was... And there's a lot of people that would like to be in our shoes. Yeah. You know? And um, we can't lose track of that, you yeah. know, how, how special it is to be here. He and my brother uh, is out in Oklahoma coaching, and um, they just uh, did a coaching change. And the coach, new coach now, him and my brother are working together and kind of doing like the Kinley and, and you. Yeah. How we're getting them through the, you know, you're, you're trying to establish, um, you know, a tradition of their own. Yeah. But, you know, it's cool to see people do take things that you've done or that we've always done and, and put them in their, their own, yeah. you know, own spin on things. You yeah. know? It's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with, um, having the same people in charge yeah. for a long period. It's like Kiki's playing with Mike Tomlin at Steelers. Yeah. I mean, to- Tomlin's an awesome dude. Oh, I, I, mean, I, love I read a thing today. He's had 15 straight winning seasons. Yep. yep. I mean, he's the only coach ever to do that. That starting, that started out of the head coach. Yeah. Had 15 straight winning. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's why I love the Steelers. Yeah. Because they're very loyal to the guy they hire, and they will stick yep. with him, and they'll work through things. And yeah. when times get tough, they're gonna work through it. Yeah. And and lot, that's a lot like South Center. Right. Times get tough, we're gonna work through it. Yeah. And we're gonna come out better on the yeah. other end. And you know, we're not afraid of work. Right. Um. So you know, very loyal people here. Yeah, I saw a graphic said the Steelers last time they went double digit losing was 2003. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive in the NFL. There's a lot of people in 20, 2020, 2021, 2022. Yeah. A lot of people that were like that. And I'm like, man, 2003, that's a long time ago. You know, you're talking 20 years ago. Absolutely. Um, where that's, that's to keep on a consistent basis is yeah. pretty impressive. Absolutely. And that's always been a, uh, you know, that's my mom, like my mom's family. That's where they're from. Um, and, uh, my granddad was a big Steelers fan and, and, you know, that was a, you're talking about in the seventies, that was, that was it, you know, yeah. it was championship town, pirates and Steelers and pirates aren't doing so good, but, <laughs> but the, but the Steelers remain to be on track and then they get the, but they're they're crazy about their Steelers, over there, yeah. You know, so I think that's going to be a really cool and a really cool experience for Kiki to have. You know, because it's you always want to go somewhere that people love to support you. You know, yeah. you don't want to go somewhere where they're like, mm. well, it's like, it's, uh, you know, when you when Dallas Cowboys play somewhere, there's usually. As many Dallas oh, fans as they do. Awesome. Steelers are the same yep. way. Yep. Yep. They're guys, they, they follow, travel. Their, they travel yep. and they, they're all over this place. And yep. Steelers will come down here and play Tampa, what, next week? And there'll be a ton of Steelers. And it's a preseason game. And uh, <laughs> there might be more Steelers fans than yeah. Buck fans. And, and their stars are going to play, what, three plays? Yeah. Done? I mean, but those Steelers fans oh, yeah. are, I mean, and to me, we're like that at South Sumter on a, on, a, on a lower level, mm-hmm. you know. Our fans, we're when we go to away games, we're going to have more fans than the home team. Oh, yeah. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. And that's what I love. Yeah. I mean, that, that's not the way it is at every other place. Yeah. I mean, you know, and that's special to me. Yeah. Special. Uh, I think it's I think it's a, a, a pretty cool 
thing to grow up in, like a village, you know, I, I say a village as a community to help raise young men or women in yeah. our sports and um, athletics program. Um, doesn't matter what we do. I think, I think everybody is very supportive. I mean, yeah. um, and it's hard because, um, you know, in, in today's world, you know, you might be here one year and then I don't like this place. I'm going to go over here and play. And I know you've experienced that from time and time again, but it's not going to get any better. It's going to get, I think it's going to get worse. I mean, you know, it's, it's, um, just can't get, can't, can't keep it, people, you know, contained. What's, what's frustrating about it is I get the school choice and all that, yeah. you know, but that's not what's happening. What's happening is we have guys in our profession. And this is my opinion. I'll say that this is my opinion. Our profession of high school football coaching is going down. Yeah. Because schools are hiring guys that are not good for the sport. Right. And they're just, there are head coaches out there that will hire a guy that can't coach as well as another guy, but can get kids into their school. And they'll hire that guy before the guy that can actually coach football. Right. 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 And that's, that's sad. Right. You know, that's just, that's what we're dealing with right yeah. now. Whereas what's different between high school and college is the transfer portal. Let's just say school a has 15 guys that enter the portal. Yeah. Okay. They can go get 15 more. Okay. okay. In high school, if school A loses five kids to a different school, we we can't go get five more. Yeah. You know, and that's right. that's the difference. And so we as coaches, like we set these schedules up based on how good our team is gonna be. Right. And can they compete with that schedule six months in advance? And, you know, it comes a time where if you lose five kids, that's you're going to go 0 and 10 on that schedule. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, and that's, that's frustrating as a coach. Right. Like, we'll, we'll keep your kids. Well, I'm trying to keep them. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's another thing. We have coaches in our area that are contacting our kids right now. Right. You know, and I'll contact those coaches. Hey, I know this is going on. Can you please stop? Yeah. You know, try to handle it the right way. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's sad that I wonder if their – here's the question. I wonder if those coaches know, their kids know, their, their coach is trying to re- replace them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if – their coach is calling our kid. That means the kid that he's coaching. I wonder if that kid knows he's he's trying to replace him. Right. I, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working with our kids and our coaches work with our kids. You know, um, and we try to coach the crap out of them and get them right. And hopefully, that all means something. We we hope relationships mean something. Right. Like, like Coach Everett has a great relationship with our kids. Coach Gaunt, oh, Coach yeah. Foot, all of our coaches have great relationships with our kids. I hope that means something. Yeah, I think I think it, it's it's very helpful to have that. And not only that, like what you're doing with like you know anymore now, you have to keep up with social media, and you you've got to. I mean, and, and that that changes all the time. Huh. And you could you could be doing you know have it set for one thing. And then 10 minutes later, it's different or the next day or next week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but I do, I do like how you're trying, you know, you, we do the best we can yeah. to keep up with the Jones. You know what I mean? It's hard. We're trying. Absolutely. But, but, but at the end of the day, you got to coach football too. You know? and it, like, it's like, a, yeah, three ring circus. You're trying to juggle and you know, do everything. Right. This, we got to show this kid some love because yeah. you know, I'm sure that's the way coaches think, you know, yeah. to show him some love. So he feels warm and fuzzy. Right. And, you know, and when you got a hundred kids in the program, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to do that. Right. We try to do a good job, you know, still loving on our kids and, you know, give them some praise on social media right. and, um, you know, 
do player of the week and yeah. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. We're going to – I'm going to try to do um, – I'm going to try to set up player of the week to come on. Yeah, it'd be and great. Do, do an interview for We him. did that in high school. Uh, it was called the – I forget the show, but we did it in high school. Lee's, Leesburg. Yeah. Let's play at Leesburg. Coach Weir was, picked a couple guys each week. And yeah. They talked on the radio. Coach, it was called Coach's Corner. Oh, uh, okay. And so Coach Weir take it. And, Kids to Ramshackles there, a restaurant there in town, and they do a coach's show, you know. And that was always, that was always a cool time yeah. for. I remember doing that. Right. And I thought it was so cool as a kid, yeah. you know. But as a coach, I'm like, oh, just another thing to do, with it, you know. But as a kid, I gotta remember. Yeah. I gotta remember too. It's like yeah. when I was a kid, I enjoyed it. It's a big deal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the kid, I think the kids dig it, man. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, that would be cool. I think it would be really, really good, good goal yeah. to do that. Um, this season, who who are you looking like? What's a game that you're like? Hey, we're ready. Like I'm, I'm ready to go right now. If we could play tomorrow, I'm ready to go. Springstead. Springstead, the first one. First one. <laughs> we're gonna go in order. Hundred percent. Yeah. But I ain't forgot we lost them twice. Oh, that's true. That's true. You know. So yeah. And one of them didn't rub me the right way. Yeah. And that's okay. I ain't forgot. Yeah. You know, so um, we get to play them again. We play yeah. them again. A few years later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another, was that a, that, that was a, the spring game we played them, right? I think we played them in the fall classic as okay. well. Uh, did we play them? It could have been, yeah. I remember going over there now. That's what yeah. I'm We played them the year we went 0 and 9. Okay. We played them the, uh, the next following year, went right, five or whatever. right. Um, I'm ready to play. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm ready for that one. Um, it's always good to play the villages. You know, that's yeah. that's always. You know, we don't we don't play those guys a bunch. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you how many times we how many times we played them. Probably five times over the last since they've been in school. Yeah, it's, it's only been a handful of times. Yeah. Right? And so so it's good to play them. Yep. Especially with them moving down closer to us. Yep. You know. Hopefully we can keep that game going. Yeah, you know, short distance. They've got a good facility. We got a good facility. You know, right. Hopefully they'll want to keep playing. And um, then after that, we play North Miami Beach, which is I've never never seen these guys before. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's uh, coach does a good job down there. He's been there for a while. Yeah, and he wants he every year he go, goes on two trips to places that have great high school football atmospheres. Gotcha. So he called me. He said, hey, um, we want to come play you. I said, Coach, we can't come to Miami. He's like, no, no, we're going to come to Bushland. I go, okay. I was like, we can't pay you any money. He goes, no. One thing I ask is you feed us. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, we can feed you. Yeah. So we're going to feed them after the game. and um they're gonna come up and play us. They're gonna. They're uh, Last year they went. They traveled to Niceville, which is up in the Panhandle, yeah. you know. And they traveled to Lowndes County, which is in Georgia. Okay. So this year they're, they're coming to us. I want to say Lake Brantley High School. Okay. So it's good for that coach has been there for a long time and does things the right way yeah. and just wants to get his kids out of Miami a couple yeah. times and yeah. That's, so he chose us. That's cool. So, that's that's a. I mean, that's kind of an. I mean, it's an honor. Yeah. To, they, so those are our first three games. That's and cool. The rest of them, I, I forget when they happen, but um, but I'm looking forward for the first one. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm I'm excited about Vanguard. I like Vanguard. I've always liked playing against. We've them. We've played them a couple times, we you did. know, and we're two and zero against them. Yeah, you know, our kids think Vanguard's like really, good at it, and they're good. Yeah. Vanguard's a good team. It's gonna be a good test. Yeah, but. Our older kids that come on our stand on our sideline, they beat them yeah. twice. Yeah. You know, yeah, Coach yeah. Everett, who coached our linebacker, beat them twice. Yeah. You know, so it's not like they're unbeatable. Or they're, they've never beaten us. Yeah, I like the, one of the things I like about Vanguard is the the stadium. Uh, no, their their stadium, you know, Booster Stadium. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty played cool. there as a player. Yeah, you you're know. right on the field. Almost. Right on the right on the sidelines. <laughs> no you're track. taking the Gatorade from the. You're like, hey, give me a Gatorade. Parents walking up the fence and they're, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, uh, we play them here. Yeah, this year, yeah. and then we'll go to them next year. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I remember last time. Um, gosh, it's been a while. But I remember we. 
we went there and um, rained. Oh uh, yeah, rained yeah. a bunch. Oh, it did. It was. Um, but like I said, they, they've all been good games. You know, it's not. It's not like. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, uh, Mitchell. That, I mean, that was. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Very well coached. And Jeffrey Hills. Jeffrey Hills gave Ooh. us a good game last year. I mean, Loaded. Yeah. I mean, you, okay, you try this. Uh, Coach Lawrence, do you want to play Zephyr Hills or Vanguard for homecoming? <laughs> um, what, a, what is it? Mean, it's not a choice. Like, uh, I'll flip a coin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're like, okay, we'll play Zephyr Hills. Yeah, yeah. And then you announced that we're playing Zephyr Hills for homecoming. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Their communities. <laughs> They they don't respect you. I'm like, yes, we do. We respect. <laughs> Zephyr Hills is good. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna have a shot to win a state title there. Yeah. They, they've got some really good football players, and um, you know, we were able to beat them last year. You know, a, a really close game. Albie was able to kick that field goal. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. and, and um, so we were fortunate enough to beat them. Yeah, they're coming down to our place this time, and <laughs> they're disrespected because they're homecoming. <laughs> like. We, yeah. we, we're not disrespecting all just, we've got a good that's schedule. Just, that's right. just the way it happened. Right. You know, and look at the draw. We respect Zephyr Hills a lot. Yeah. They've got some good players. Oh, yeah. Really players. They've always been like a, a really good. Yes. Yeah. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Pat's Taps at Catfish Johnny's. Pat's Taps is Lake Penasovsky's newest tap room, offering 14 rotating craft beers on tap. We also offer bottled domestic beers, seltzers, ciders, and wine, as well as a variety of appetizers and pubs. Our family-friendly tap room is a great place to come hang out and enjoy some one-of-a-kind craft beer. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or the Untapped app. Is the exterior of your home or business covered in dirt, mildew, or mold? Driveway or walkway stain? Pressure King can make your siding, deck, vents, and concrete look new again with no damage. Pressure King has cleaned the exterior of houses and businesses all over Sumter County area. Usually it takes less than a day and costs less than you would expect. Call AJ at 352-457-7209. Anybody, uh, uh, we we played Denellen again. Yeah, we're going to get Denellen here, right? Yeah, we get get Denellen here. Yeah, because we went there last year. Yeah, so they they get to come down here and... um, so that's they're they're going to be a lot better. Yeah, they were young last year, and so um, and then we play the other two district games is Crystal River, Hernando. Yeah, um, you know, Coach Lowry, Chris River always does a good job with his kids. Yeah, and he'll be ready, and um, Hernando, I don't know much of, much about. I don't either. But it's um, been... yeah. Um, so let me ask you this: you, Did you, um, since you you you're now down on the field, do you miss being up there upstairs? Yeah, a little bit. So you're a little more incognito. You're not there in plain sight with everybody. Love being upstairs. That yeah, was awesome. I hated it when Emmon told me I was going up. It's like, coach, I want to be on the field. I want to see my kids. I'm gonna look my kids in the eye. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, you're going up top. <laughs> so I was like, all right. But when I got up top. Love being up top. See even better. I mean, there's times where as a head coach, I want to go up top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't want to walk through the stands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need an elevator. You know, I need like a secret <laughs> passage. You know, <laughs> but um, I, I love being up top because you can see everything. You know, you're at peace. It's quiet. Yep. You yep. can think. Yeah. You know. Um, it's like I told Chris he's going to talk. I was like, no, yeah, you are. Yeah, and it's, and he, loved, he loves me up yeah. there, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't want to say love. He likes me up there. Yeah. But um, I, I love being up top. Yeah. And I, I, I really like being up top on Thursday night for the JV game and just seeing it up there. Well, that, that's how Emin used to do it. He yeah, he go, did. He would go up, up top and have AJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like Emin was like the mar- like a marionette, or AJ was like a marionette puppet. He was like, "All right, call right." Yeah. So it was it was funny, but um, yeah. yeah, one of my favorite one of my favorite um, memories of you up, up top is um, a player was not 
doing exactly what you wanted him to do and oh boy and you yelled from the top and the and the and the, the this individual looks up and you said flip your freaking switch and he goes okay yeah like you didn't i mean you can barely hear as it is but he heard you over everybody you know it was like yeah, i can get loud sometimes um that poor chain link fence up there was i didn't have a chance just bam that was Maxwell. Love that was Maxwell, Maxwell was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Maxwell was so good. I didn't want to throw him under the bus, but it was Maxwell. No. But, <laughs> but, but, he, but he played better. But he did. He did. And that's the thing is you, you have to jerk a knot in somebody sometimes and to get him to do like he was just was going, yeah. you know, it was wild. And sometimes you got to pull back on the reins and say, look, listen. Yeah. Well, he flipped it. It's oh, he, yeah. He start, I mean. Yeah, Maxwell, freak, flip your freaking switch. Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> he, oh, oh God, Maxwell, Ty, that was awesome. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm looking over there, my eyes are like quarters. Oh my God! I wish I could have grabbed him and say, "Hey, flip your switch," you, you know. Oh, if you'd have, if you'd have grabbed him, you probably it would have been like he had pats on, like in the helmet. Just you know, he's just like ready to yeah, go. Yeah. You know, you're like, yeah. you want him to play with some with some passion, with some enthusiasm. Right. You know, you're just like, let's go. Yeah. No, that's funny. Yeah, it's 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 been a lot of fun, man. Yeah, we've had some good times with Todd. Oh yeah, the uh, yeah, we've had some good times with <laughs> Some of the times that you can't repeat what you say, but it was all good fun and meant meant well. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was. Um, now we now you get to be on the field and um, you know learn or not learn but do all the things that coach a head coach does and yeah do you, do you like it better i mean do you like being the the, the head coach i mean there's there's uh, during know, game time i'm saying like you know like all the game calls. time love it you know yeah. practice time love it yeah i love being a head football coach during practice yeah you know all the other times I mean, I enjoy it. I really do. Yeah. It's a, it's very time consuming. Yeah. And you know, my wife asks me all the time, like, are you enjoying it? I'm like, yeah. Like, like I love preparing. Yeah. But I always have, yeah. you know, and a lot of time it takes me away from family and that type of deal. Right. So I don't enjoy being away from the family at all. Right. Um, I really enjoy what I do. I really do. Yeah. Like I get up in the morning and I'm like, okay, this, I've been here since the six o'clock, six, th- six 30 this morning. Oh, you wow. Know? Um, so I love it. Yeah. You know, getting things ready and game time and ready. And, right. Um, I enjoy it. The, but being on the field is the most enjoyable time, whether it's the practice field or the game field. Right. Um, on the school bus, traveling, love it. Yeah. Cause you're like with your guys. Yeah. Like we're going, let's go. Yeah. You know? Um, so those are, those are the times I enjoy the most, I guess. And it, and, and for those who don't know when, when coach Lawrence gets on the bus, he's got a pillow with him every time. He looks like he's going on a, well, on a road in trip. In case I was going to go to sleep, half time, most time I don't go to sleep, but if I wanted to, uh, that'd be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you got time to go to sleep. Yeah. Majority of the time, you know, it's it's hard to sleep on a school bus, yeah, especially especially on the way back. Everybody yeah. yelling. I mean, going there is not so bad because it was supposed to be quiet. Right. Um, yeah, so I had to struggle with that. What was really cool is COVID. Are you talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> COVID year when we took charter buses. That was always. Yeah. You could sleep in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it was, you know, you, yeah. because you had your own seat. Yeah. 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 You had plenty of room then. But that, that old, the old cheese wagon, man, it's, it's, That's uh, hard. but I mean, at least they're air conditioned now. I mean, yeah. Think about when you were in high school. <laughs> no, what do we, you know, how do we do that? I don't, golly, they're like, what, what was it? And the number of windows and 55 miles an hour. They're like, yeah, that's a, that's a 22 55 or whatever. And I was like, what? Yeah. Like, that's the air conditioner. You got to put all the windows down. I, I, I don't know what we think of this, but when I was a kid, young kid, yeah, 
I was the ball boy. And so Leesburg, we go over and play Eustace. Fight breaks out on the field. So they have to bring the buses down into the pit for the team to get on. Right. I'm probably seven or eight years old at the time. So I got to get back on the bus with the, with the players. Okay. Here's one thing I learned. When you – they were afraid that when we rode back by leaving the stadium. Right. They were afraid that they were going to be throwing rocks and stuff at us, bottles or whatever. So they made us put our windows halfway down. I'll, I'll never forget this. I'm thinking, why are we putting our windows down? Okay. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because there's if you put them halfway down, there's a bar uh, at the top of the window, yeah. at yeah. the middle, and at the three quarters way yes. down. So you have bars that protect. Yeah. Any objects being thrown. Yeah, I forget about that. I remember. I, I for some reason I remember this. <laughs> so if we ever get an away game and something yeah. happens, I'm yeah. like, and I, I tell our kids put our windows halfway down. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, that's funny. You know, but if you yeah. all the way up, if the window is all the way up, yeah. it's just the middle bar. Yeah, exactly. You got glass halfway and glass halfway. Right. But if you bring it halfway down, you got the bar. Right. But I don't remember the coach that. Yeah. That suggests that on our bus, but, Smart. I remember, but it, as a kid, I'm going, why, why, why are we putting our windows halfway down so objects can come in? Yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it's, for some, we're talking about riding, but that's yeah, that's remember. funny. That's funny. Yeah, um, yeah I, I was gonna say, um, you know, you've been around a long time, and and uh, I got to tell a, a story real quick about how. When I met Coach Rowe, uh, yeah, I was at a, a Pirates game in Bradenton, and they were playing the Phillies. And I was there for batting practice, and, and I'm, I'm the only one there, I thought. There's this older gentleman there. And I walk up, and I said, um, I, you know, just started small talk, you know. And I was like, he's like, I said, where are you from? And he goes, uh, or, or he's, he's like, I'm here for the Phillies. I'm like, oh, okay. So like, well, where are you from? I'm thinking, you know, Philadelphia. He said, no, I'm, I, I, I live outside of Orlando. I'm like, oh. I was like, well, where at? You know, because I, I, I kind of do too. And he says, um, ah, a little, little town called Leesburg. Probably never heard of it. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's where I was born. He goes, no way. I'm like, yeah. And I said, first thing I said to him was, do you know Ty Lawrence? That's all. I mean, no. Like, yeah. did you go to Dairy Ranch? <laughs> did you go to? <laughs> did you go to? Uh, you know, wherever um, the Dinner Bell. You know, yeah. some, somewhere uh, it's more like was that Fruitland Park or Lady Winnings? But I was like, do you know Ty Lawrence? And he said. I coached Ty Lawrence. <laughs> I said, man, this is a small world, man. I'm telling yeah. you. It was, and, and he had nothing but, I mean, because I didn't know him. Right. He had good, everything was great. He had no, uh -huh. I mean, not, now that I know he would never say anything bad, but yeah. But um, he told me some stories about you and stuff in high school. And I was like, I was like, yeah, Ty, he's a, he's a good guy. And he's like, he's like, yes, he is. And I'm like, um, so, I mean, and that just confirms what, what I already think. And I'm, this total, I thought it was a total stranger, you know, somebody, you knew, he knew you. Yeah. It was just a cool my, uh, experience. My dad was very good. My dad, um, when my dad passed away, we had his funeral, the biggest church in Leesburg and it didn't hold everybody. Oh, it wow. was, he, he affected that many lives, yeah. you know? And so, but, but, so I'm nowhere near like my dad was. My dad was special, but Coach Rose, I I mowed Coach Yard, Rose Yard <laughs> when I was nine years old. Yeah, he's like I was like you know I'd go to him. He lived down the street from me, and Coach Rose, uh, I was a ball boy, you know. So I come mow your yard. He said I'll pay you ten dollars each time you cut it. I said, yeah, perfect. I'll it's, take it. It's big money back then. Oh yeah. So me and my brother would push our lawnmowers down. And, mow his yard and we, we I don't know we had 20 25 yards we mowed and, you know back in those days we had a western auto in town mm -hmm. and you could you could go up to western auto and 
me and my brother purchased the lawnmower and then we went up there each week and we paid him a certain amount each week until we had it paid off. And when we had it paid off, we went and got a dip, another lawnmower. So we both had lawnmowers, right. you know? And so we kind of built up our lawnmower business that way. And, uh, I don't know why I'm talking about that, but, but, but coach Rowe, right. we, I've known him for a long time and he was our D line coach. When I played, he played at Clemson, you know, right. he, was, he was a good football player up there. And so now he coach Rowe, if nobody knows this, but coach Rowe, Coach Rowe goes and scouts our opponents more than two games out. So we get the last two films of each opponent. He goes and scouts the games before those two. Okay. And so um, like we're actually meeting uh, this week because he went and scouted a couple of teams we play early. Gotcha. And so um, – give us some information on that. So he's like way behind the scenes. And there's some weeks I was like, Hey coach, why don't you just come watch us play? Yeah. Like, he's like, are you sure? You don't need me to go scout anybody. I'm a hundred percent. You need to come watch these kids play. Right. And so he'll pick a couple games each year and the rest of the time he's out scouting. And nobody knows who he is. Yeah. And, you know, we give him some coaching gear and a coach's pass and yeah. he goes and gets it done for us. Yeah, he's a really nice guy, and I, and I have seen him here, and yeah. it's always good to see him because, you know, I, I don't think, and like you said, I don't think the kids know who he is. No, they don't. They but don't. they're just like, but they, but they don't treat him like a right. stranger. They're like, you know, they're like, how you doing, sir? Yeah, absolutely. And um, like, like you said, people coming back, um, a lot of people come back to the games and stuff, and and it's it's good to see him. I'm, I, you know, like it's funny because we have that that interaction. And um, so that's something I always have there. But over randomly over in Bradenton for a spring training game, I meet yeah. some guy that same place I was born knows our head coach. Yeah. It's just it's so random, but 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 uh, ironically, you know, I'm glad he said something good. So. He did, he did, he did say <laughs> something good. But I was surprised. I'm just kidding. I had, uh, but I think that that speaks speaks volume for for what you do for our county community our team our, our school and I don't think I don't think that I don't think we'd have it any other way I mean you, you do a really great job there's a lot of things you do behind the scenes that people don't know and um, and you never ask credit for it you never expect credit or anybody else to know about it but um, I mean I do whatever I can to help you guys and and I, I just it, it's great to be a part of something like this and just yeah. and you know even I have a small part in it but it's just um, like I was telling somebody it's like the kids hated me because I'm I'm big brother I always I always pointed out the things they were doing wrong and yeah right I don't like that guy <laughs> I had to run laps because that guy you know whatever but it was funny yeah they you know we try to one of the things we have up in the weight room one thing we teach our kids is it means a lot to me. My my daughters know it's like the first Bible verse they learn. You know, a lot of times it's like what John three sixteen or, yeah. or or something like that. But uh, Proverbs twenty two one where it talks about having a good name. A good name is it's to be desired more than great riches. Favor is better than silver or gold. And you know, your your name means something. It's the one thing people can't take from you. Right. That is. That is the most important thing about you is your name. Right. And you want it to be good. Right. You know, you can get so much further in life with a good name. And so we teach our kids that and we want them to understand that, you know, you never know how somebody's going to help you 20 years from now. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and we want that to matter. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, that, I, I, I like that verse. Yeah. Um, that's that's not what I thought you were going to say. I thought you were going to say focus on the next play. And I was that's, like, that's, that's biblical. I didn't know that. But well, but it is. It's uh, that's in South Sumter. That's South. That's South, that's South Sumter Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's the that's the first commandment in the South Sumter commandments. Yes. Um, commandment number one. Focus on the next play. Hey, you can tell you an awesome story. Yeah. Okay. So, um, my daughter is at the middle school bad day. I can't remember what, why it was bad, but 
it was a bad day. Yeah. I was like, she called me upset. I was like, babe, you have, I'll, I'll talk to you and get home. So I so we get home. I was like, babe, you just gotta, you gotta focus on the next play. Yeah. You gotta focus on tomorrow. Don't worry about what happened today. Yeah. I was like, that's rule number one. Focus on the next play. And like, she's like, what? I was like, baby, everybody. I was like, hang on. So I get on my phone. I called Kendall Smith. I said, Kendall, I've got one question. One question only. I don't want to say hello, goodbye, anything. I just need an answer. Okay. I was like, what's rule number one? He says, focus on the next play. I was like, thank you. Bye. Hung up. <laughs> get on the phone. Call Keanu. Keanu, what's rule? I'm not going to say hello or anything. Don't, and we're not talking here. What's rule number one? He says, focus on the next play, coach. I was like, thank you. And I called four or five guys. Yeah. Okay. And so they all gave the same, you know, it's like, Kenzie, it's, it's, you just got to worry about tomorrow. And she fell a lot better. Yeah. But here's what's really cool. She's at school. I, I, I can't remember if it's McKenzie or Samantha. They, they can tell you. They get flowers the next day at school. Keanu Neal sent them flowers. Oh, man. That's that was cool. awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, cause it, and never had a bad day, at, you know, yeah. that, that forgot about what happened the day yeah. before. Yeah. Was able to focus on the next yeah. one and all because of different players that I had coached. Right. Was able to, to, you know, let my daughter know, focus on the next one. Don't yeah. worry about today. Right. Focus on tomorrow. Focus, yeah. focus on the next one. And so, uh, that's cool. I love that. I love that saying because it's not just about football. Yeah. Like you said, it's about life. Absolutely. You know, and, and what I like a bit about football is no matter what you do, good or bad, you have to focus on the next play. Absolutely. You know, you can score and still lose. You don't always win by scoring a touchdown. Yeah. So, I mean, you can you can't harp on that one thing, and you can't harp on the bad thing either. You have to focus on the next play. And I, I, I so I, I still that. I mean, anybody that want to hear me talk, yeah. I will tell them the same thing, and I tell them exactly the same thing. It, it's it's not just on a field. It's it's life. It's part of life. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you could take players from twenty years ago. Hey, what's rule number one? Yep. I mean, it's on our it's on our board down there. Rule number one. Yeah. They can tell you. Yeah. You know. It doesn't matter. They can all tell you. Rule number one. Yeah. They can repeat it. I can I can you know they, yeah. if an old player walks through the door or not. Hey, what's rule number one? They tell yeah. you. And hopefully they remember that. Oh you know? Yeah. You know? Something that you'll never forget. I mean that's and it and if you do Shame on you, I guess, because you've heard it so many times. You can tell if a kid played at South Sun. If a kid can tell you what number one is, they played at South Sun. Yeah. They can't tell you they didn't play. They didn't play. That's no. right. That's right. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's a test. You're like, what was the wrong? Oh, you didn't play. Yeah, like, I played at South When did you play? Like, uh, back in 2003. All right, what's rule number one? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you didn't play. You didn't play. If you if you went, <laughs> you, you weren't there. <laughs> I thought you played. Yeah. Oh, that's funny though. I mean, but but it's true. I mean, you you. It's and it's funny how it amazes me the little things in life like that, like something that simple. Focus on the next play. Yeah. It's not a paragraph. No. But it's so powerful that that people don't. Yeah. You know, I think it's just such a cool thing. But um, I also like our slogan, you know, tradition never graduates. Love it. I love that. Yeah. Um, that was a Mr. Edwards thing. Yeah. That came from Mr. Edwards, big Kentucky guy. Yeah. And I think at the time, Kentucky Wildcat basketball was using it. Oh. Okay. Had used it back in the day. Gotcha. And Bob Edwards was like, I was like, dude, yeah. we'll start putting that on everything. Yeah. Put it on everything. It is on everything. The murals, everything. We try to put it on everything. Oh, yeah. And have for 25 years. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. going gonna, gonna to be on our field. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, it's on our basketball court. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the gym. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, in, it's in our weight room. It's, I mean, we don't have money. We have tradition. Yeah. And 
to, to me that trumps money all the time. I was going to say, I think that that goes along. Yeah. That goes longer than. And there's there's times when people stab at it. Yeah. And talk about it. Well, that. That, that and. But it always comes back. You know, you know Tigo used to say, they hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of truth in that. Yeah. You know, you hate on somebody. Why? Because you're jealous. Yeah. Uh, I love that. Um, what do you think about this new streaming system we got going to be happening? Um, I don't really. Hopefully it's. Great. Yeah. I know, it's, sure I know there, it's early. I'm sure there's some kinks and stuff oh, not to work out. Sure. Um, but, you know, I hope it, I hope it sounds like, uh, oh gosh, John Madden. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. but it's going to take some while to get used to, I think. Yeah. Um, but at least our people will be able to see it, that, yeah. you know, that are not in town. And that, yeah, we want, in. we want the Raider nation showing up to the games, oh, yeah. but for Raiders that are not around, yeah. they're in Puerto, like Nick's in Puerto Rico and he'll watch the games down there and right. stuff. You know, people out of town, my aunt in Alaska watch, you know, listens each week to the radio yeah. guys. And so hopefully like she'll be able to, hopefully it's, hopefully it's as good as I envision it. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, I think it'll be something positive. I mean, it'll be yeah, we'll it's try something it different. So there's going to be if it if it doesn't work, you know, I know the, the the villages do it and they do a pretty good job with yeah. it. And so I'm thinking we can too. Yeah, and um, if it don't work, it don't work. We'll, yeah, we'll do something different. But, well, like um, like you said, that you, you know it'll have kinks and you just got to work that out. Yeah. You know, it's something that you you know those radio guys do such a great job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. They're awesome guys. Um, I'm going to have them on. Um, my, yeah. my, my plan is to have them do like a college game day where we'll have it, we'll get up early one morning and do it. Um, an early edition oh, of cool. show from the corner of the field with the new field in the background. Yeah, that'd so be it cool. should be awesome. I can come out here and like hold signs. You can come out there and, and say Wade Boggs drink <laughs> nineteen hundred beers or something like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Go will graduate with a two point oh 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 GPA. <laughs> nine. Zero 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 nine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, but man, Ty, I'll tell you what, I'm, 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 su- I'm so excited about this, this season, new field. By the time this airs, we'll be on it. Um, it'll be in a couple of weeks, Cool. but Raider nation should be really, really excited. They should be. Um, they should be. And, um, they should be because yeah. it, 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 it could be something special. I, you know, I think we have a tradition like no other around here. I mean, it's like you said, like it, it's just the people that come back and, and, and a lot of people don't see those guys. When they, it's, it's great to have you, you, you do your pregame um, speech over here and to have 15, 20 alumni in yeah. the same room looking around going, you know what? I just did this 10 years ago or sure. however long it was. And it's, it's just an amazing feeling. Yeah. And those guys – those guys I always tell them, you know, when I'll I'll see a picture of the field, um, I'll see a picture of the field or something new, and I go, you know what? That's because of you. Yeah, it was a, it was a collective, you know. Well, it's, uh, you know, me and Mr. Shirley were talking about volunteers and stuff, and you start talking about, yeah. Here's here. Okay, let me tell you about some volunteers. We've had the same chain game for probably. Yeah. 25, 30 years. Yeah. And those guys work. Like we run no huddle and never are we waiting on. Like we get the referees coming, like, coach. It's like, listen, our chain game, hey, coach, we know. <laughs> they're good. They're they're the best chain game around. Right. And they are awesome. And you know, just volunteers like yeah. that, you know, that are just you know, Pastor Justin volunteering his time. Yeah. The Booster Club volunteered yeah. their time. You know, it's, we have people in the community that volunteer in, in the Booster concession stand, whether it's the First Baptist Church right. or um, 
the, 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 the what's the church the connect uh, uh, cr- uh, cross cross connection or is it the one right here on by the railroad track oh that's South Point South Point yeah South Point they helped her. I mean it's crazy yeah the volunteers that just yeah. uh, Stacy Kenley down at the salon you yeah. know they they come and help right the sheriff Center County Sheriff's Office absolutely comes and helps yep. I mean the volunteer is just crazy, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, and yeah. it takes a, it takes a lot of people yeah. to do what we do. Absolutely, and you know it, that kind of that stuff doesn't go unnoticed. No, you know, and and um, we're very fortunate here to do it. For, for do those those people? You know, I, I think that's why some things die out is because people quit. They give up, and they don't do things like they used to, you know, that's a big reason why Webster baseball is no longer. I mean, Bushnell gets a new facility and it wasn't long after that. Everybody's like, well, I want to go play on the new fields. Well, when I retire, I'm going to go to Webster. I'm going to bring back the old program. Yeah. And we're going to come over here and whoop these Bushnell boys. (laughs) I like it. That's always, I like it. I'll help you. That's always been my goal. Yeah. Like when I retire and don't have anything to do, yeah. Like I'm going to Webster and we're going to coach those kids, yeah. keep them kids in town, and yeah. Go whoop up on I, Wildwood. I'm telling you, the the, the talent I, that came from Webster. Love Webster. Man, love Webster. That well, it, it was, that well If be. they ever, if they ever got Webster High School, <laughs> I'd be going over there. Yeah. You know, used to I, be. I know. Yep. Um, Love and Western kids, Center Hill kids. Yep. Most, I, I, all these kids, you know. Yeah. Um, but the Webster kids, you know, to have that league brought back, you know, and go play Wildwood or go play Ridge Manor right. or, you know, whoever, y'all, Hernando. Yeah. That'd be, oh, yeah. I would like to do that. No doubt. I mean, it's the well oh, water. As, <laughs> I told Kim, I was like, I wish we could buy it and sell it. I mean, <laughs> That would, it would, I, I tell some of my friends that story, you know, it's about the well water and, you know, they just laugh, <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. Well, um, you know, Ty, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know you're, you're, I know right now it's crazy because you got so many things going on, but I really appreciate yeah. you coming. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't really think you would actually be this, this soon. I thought it would be later. That you'd want to sit down. And well, I figure I'd do it before the season starts. That way, <laughs> well, you have more time, a little yeah. bit more time then. But, but I do appreciate you coming in today. Um, I appreciate what you do for our program. I told somebody the other day. I said I'd walk through the gates of Hades for anything <laughs> you ask me to do. I'm gonna do it. And um, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate um, it. And I, I know I'm not the only one. There's a, there's a ton of people that would bend over backwards. At the drop of a hat, whatever you whatever you need us to do, um, we just believe in that that process. We we drank the Kool Aid per se. We're on board and <laughs> we're ready to go. I appreciate but, um, it. So hey, good luck to a good luck this season. And um, like I said, I'll get with you about our players of the week. And um, I think that's something that we could start a new tradition on. And and. Uh, this whole thing is the reason why I started this podcast is to promote our kids. Yeah. You know, I just want to make sure that people are aware of who we are and that, and we have a, our platform is heard and I don't want it to all be about our school, but I love to start it off as about our school yeah. and then gradually get bigger and talk about everything. Yeah. But you have to start where you, I, I feel like I'm, I owe so much to the school. Um, and it's something truly special I mean a lot of people don't have a clue yeah but when you move out my brother knows Nick Martinez knows when they go to all they go out into the world and you don't have that close circuit of people there as you did it, it changes yeah. and you, you understand so um, I appreciate it man and uh, go Raiders go Raiders so um, I'll just change this camera for me real quick and guys uh, you heard it first from Coach Ty Lawrence of the South Sumter Raiders. And I want to just let everybody know that, you know, you can find these podcasts on YouTube or Spotify, but just continue to watch and uh, we'll see you next time. It's about that time. Take it easy.